First off this morning, I want to say this is not going to be a very organized or uh, well thought out video. It's kind of off the cuff. I don't have any plan to follow here. Like most people, I woke up this morning and found out about the tragic shooting in Orlando, Florida, and I have been continuing to follow it as it unfolds on my television set today. And even now, this early in the morning, it's 7 a.m. here on the West Coast, people are starting to flood me with questions, as I'm sure most Gun Channel people are getting flooded with questions. So I wanted to say a few things, make a few statements here, and even ask a couple questions of my own. First off, I want to say it's very clear what this is. This is not just a mass shooting. This isn't some unhinged individual with a grudge. This isn't just some crazy person that had a gun. This is a barbaric act by a person following a very archaic and violent religion. This is an act of Islamic terrorism, plain and simple. This guy has been investigated in the past for his radical Islamic ideas, and you can just drop the radical as far as I'm concerned, and he called 911 to swear his allegiance to ISIS before he even committed this act. I don't think there's any doubt that this is clearly an act of Islamic terrorism. No matter what this guy's father said, this isn't some act where he was all kind of justified because, you know, these two gay people kissed in front of him and his wife and his child, and then he just went off the deep end because they did that. This isn't their fault. This hasn't got nothing to do with that. Your son is a piece of garbage, and I want to punch you in the mouth every time you try to excuse his behavior. And you know, while I'm filming this video, President Obama hasn't said anything yet. I'm sure he's going to give a speech later on this morning. But I would be willing to bet that during that speech, he, you know, demonizes AR-15s a lot, talks about the tools, and talks about gun control and how we need gun control. But I bet he doesn't once say the words Islamic terrorism. I'd be willing to bet he doesn't pass up this opportunity to exploit this tragedy to promote his little pet agenda of getting guns out of the hands of Americans, but I bet he doesn't once address the real issue, and that is the Islamic threat to this country. But you know, I don't want to make this video about religion, I want to make this video about what happened in Orlando. And like I said, I bet the president will not address what's really happening at all. He'll try to make this a thing about, oh, we just need to get ARs off the street. And as far as ARs are concerned, the media today, I can't count how many times I've heard them say, this is the same gun the military uses. This is a fully automatic weapon. This is an assault rifle. It's none of those three things. All three of those statements are base lies. And you know, you know they're lies. You have been schooled enough times to know that none of the things you're saying are true, yet you keep saying them. So if you've been corrected multiple times and you know you're wrong and you keep saying something, that's not a misspeak. That is a lie. That is an agenda. That is a bias. And your bias and your lies are coming through loud and clear. It's really obvious what you're trying to do. You're trying to take focus off of what's really happening here, and that's Islamic terrorism, and trying to place it on gun control and guns. So you're not fooling anybody. You're deliberately trying to mislead the American people to follow your own agenda, which in some ways makes you just as bad as the radicals that commit these acts of violence. And you know, the worst thing about it today is if you listen to them, they debunk themselves. They talk about how this guy was licensed, he was law-abiding, etc. Then they talk about gun control and how they'll need gun control to stop things like this. Well, if you're going to imply that gun control, that some sort of gun control could have stopped this, there's only two things that could have stopped it. You're either implying that there should be a complete and total ban on all firearms for all individual citizens of this United States, which you would never say out loud because it gets you taken off the air, or you might be implying something even more sinister. You're implying that people should be discriminated against because of their religion. Because you keep saying, well, he was on a list of people that were following radical Islam, so maybe he shouldn't have been allowed to buy a gun. So is that what you're saying? That there should be a religious test to buy a firearm? Like I said, I'm not a fan of any religion. But if you say something like that out loud, you know you're going to be in trouble. So which is it? Are you promoting a full ban or are you just promoting religious discrimination? Either way, you should have to say it out loud. But you won't say it out loud because then no one would blindly follow you as you deliberately mislead them. You know, and one more thing I wanted to add to this. This was an attack on a gay club, so we have to pay attention to that. And that kind of furthers things I've been saying for a long time. I can't understand why people that are targeted for discrimination, people like gays, people like transgender, or even just women in general, people that are discriminated against or are attacked more often because of being in a position of vulnerability, why they aren't more into being able to protect themselves. I couldn't imagine being one of those 15 people trapped in the bathroom that knew they had no way to protect themselves. Why would you put yourself in that situation if you know you're in a high risk group? Not that I'm trying to lay the blame on any of the victims here because it is not their fault at all. You should have the reasonable presumption that you can go out at night and go to a bar in an American city and not be murdered. So it's not on them. It's on the person that perpetrated this attack. But I don't know about anyone else out there. I still would want to be prepared in case the unthinkable happened. 
Now I want to end this video with a question or two. I'm having a little trouble piecing some things together about the timeline. If you've got any information that can help, please share it in the comment section below. A lot of people can't follow the TV all day, so they might be able to see the information here. My biggest question revolves around how were these people shot and when were they shot? Now I'm seeing in the timeline that at about 2 a.m. he went in there, he got into an altercation with a police officer, there were shots fired. I'm not seeing any reports of him firing a lot of shots then, I'm not seeing any reports of a lot of gunfire then. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's when a lot of the people got killed, a lot of people got injured, or if it was later. Because apparently after he engaged in this fight with the police officer, he ended up outside, then other police showed up, he went back inside, took hostages, and then in the morning, they went in with a SWAT team. Then there was a lot of firing after the SWAT team went in, if I'm correct, because I think that's when the video of all the gunshots was after the SWAT team went in. And then it was sometime later that they started reporting on the dead and the injured. So if anyone has any information out there about who was shot and when and how, you know, we're not asking about vulgar details. We're just wanting to know, did, were most of the people shot earlier in the incident or were they shot later after the SWAT team went in? Were they shot by friendly fire? Were they shot by the gunman? Who were they shot by? I'm sure these are things people want to know. So if you've got any information, please share it in the comment sections below. As for now, I'm just going to go ahead and sign off of this video. Go continue to follow the information on television. If I find out anything more, I'll write in the comment section below. If you know anything, please do so also so that everyone here can get any information that might be out there.